Hi, it's Jenny, ready to do our video tutorial on um, unicorn spinning a bath. But first, I want to show you a little bit of cuteness. We're here at Karen's Barn, and not long ago, we just had a little baby chicken hatch. I want to have a look. Isn't he cute? Or she? We don't know yet. All right, so the first thing I want to do is show you everything that you need. You're going to need two chucks cloths or two decent sized bits of paper towel, one folded ready to go and the other ready for cleaning. You need your Windex, your bars, um, at least two colours of your unicorn spit and today I'm going to use four. We need a spray bottle of water, that's just water in there. We need an oil-based can of polyurethane and we need any brand can of metallic spray. So, the, first, the very first thing we do is we clean our vase because it's got to have no dust, no anything on it or in it. So give it a, a quick clean, make sure that it's sparkling, no dust or oil or anything left inside it and we'll pop it back down to dry and we need to shake all of our unicorn spit need to give it a really good vigorous shake and open your lid ready to go so today I've got the Blue Thunder, the Pixie Punk Pink, the Zia Teal, and one that we can't actually get at the moment, it's called Navajo Jewel. They're not making this one um, by Eclectic yet. Okay, our vase is ready to go, and it's reasonably simple. We're just going to pour some of our spit, not too much, but enough that it starts to flow, and just Overlap your colours a little bit so you get a bit of blending. And I like to use the Zia Teal or the White Ning because it lightens the colours up and blends them better too. It'll start to roll down. You can put your colours wherever you like. There's um, no rhyme or reason to it. Some are thicker than others. And you can water your unicorn spit down, but I, to do your vases, I start with full strength every time. Put a bit more Zia Teal in here so that we get some of that lighter blending. More pink. And it really, it looks like a lot of spit, but really it isn't. I'm not using a great deal. There's, I've, had, I've had these for 12 months now, and I'm still going on them. My Zia Teal has a little bit of water in it because I was running out and I need to get some more. Just add more colours where you think you need it. Whatever colour you'd like wear. Here. You can see the colours blending as they roll down the side of the glass. Green over this side. Then you sort of start to just roll your colours around can be a bit slow moving. So for the veining, that's when I use my spray bottle of water. And I'll give it, and it's on a really fine mist, and I don't use, and I can get it to spray. Just me, I'm not a chicken. A light spray. That encourages the veining to occur. A 
little bit more in here. So the colours blend through each other. it back to cover any bits that you think you've missed and don't worry about filling the bottom in so there's a hole the spit will actually run down there in a moment I'll um, put it down for a few minutes for a minute or so let that drain down to the bottom This is just really, it's called a flow pour. It's very simple and you've got very little control over it. Um, the pattern you get is what you get. So, you know, if anyone ever says to me, oh, can I have one just like that? It will never happen. <laughs> all around the bottom. Okay, my bottom is now all covered, as you can see. A little bit there. There you go, bottom's all covered. Now there's a lot of spit in the bottom. So that's where I use my second cloth and I just tip it upside down to dry. That'll drain a, a, all the wet spit out that's like the excess. It'll continue changing the pattern as it rolls down the sides of the bars. When it's, you can, after, after an hour, you can pick it up and turn it up the other way. It'll, it'll probably need a good few hours to dry. Here's one I prepared earlier. So once, once it's dry, I, to remove, you'll have spit around the edge from where it's been upside down. Just put a bit of water on your cloth or a bit of Windex and all you do is just wipe the excess away. Because it's water based, it just comes straight off the, the top here and any that you've got down the sides of the glass from fingers or whatever, just wipe it off. And then we use our poly, and we give it a good shake up too and we spray, give it a good spray all on the inside. I've actually polyed this one, so I'm not going to do it. But it's very simple. It's just simply a matter of spraying it. And you can see when it, when it coats the spit, the spit will actually go a little bit darker where the poly hits it. So once you've done that, that will need at least four hours to dry. And then we fill in our veining, and it's, you can't really see much of it here. We'll fill in our veining with our metallic spray paint. And again, it's really simple. It's just a matter of, you don't even need to spray that much. Just roll your bars around. Worry about the inside up the top. Again, use your cloth. There'll be a bit of overspray on it. And just simply wipe that overspray away. And that will be ready to go in about an hour. So now you can see where the gold's come through and filled in the veining that, that's occurred. This side looks really pretty with the green little bits up the top. Done. Too easy. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Thanks, guys. Bye.